Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this shawl here. Now I know it's white, you can't see it <laughs> that well against my white background. Um, I tend to do my small my shawls just a little bit on the smaller side because just for tutorial purposes. Plus I think uh, they make good cowls if you wear them in the front. But I'll give you a measure of mine shawl as big as you'd like it to be. But like I said, mine is on the small side. I tend to do them on the smaller side. But right now my measure is almost 39 inches across the top there. And then from here down is about 20. But definitely make it as big as you want 60 inches 72 inches or leave it like this and wear it like a cow put the, in the front of you like a cow here's the stitch i'll show you close it's a side cluster there and um if you look closely you can see they're kind of catty cornered from each other so um it's not it's not hard I will tell you that it is a bit time consuming and it is a little bit of a yarn eater, but it's still pretty nonetheless. So you guys wanna go ahead and get started on it. I'm going to show you what yarn I used and then I'm going to use a, di a different color in the video so you can see it better. But the yarn I use is called Signet Boho Spirit. It is a 100% premium acrylic. I purchased this at the Wool Warehouse um, from the UK. It is um, classified, like, I think it's a medium weight number four. That's what I would use. Uh, that's what I would classify it as. A medium, number, medium weight number four. Um, 240 meters, so uh, close to 260 yards. Um, and I went through about... Um, about 700 yards to do the size that I did. So if you want it bigger, you know, you're going to need a lot more yarn than that. Now, you don't have to use this yarn. You don't even have to use a four weight. Any weight of yarn will work. You could use a one weight, a two weight, a three weight, a four weight, a five weight. I wouldn't go any more than that. But um, any weight of yarn will work, actually. Um, so I'll go ahead and set that to the side. Um, and then I'm going to use using a size I, which is a uh, five and a half millimeter crochet hook now if you're going to be using a different weight uh, say you want to use a three or four I stick with the five and a half millimeter if you're going to jump up to a five weight I'd probably uh, go with the six millimeter okay so we're going to go off, we're going to go ahead and start like I said I'm going to be using a different color yarn here with a slip knot on our hook And we're going to go and we're going to work a chain of four. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to slip stitch back into our first stitch to form a ring. Like that. And now we're going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to work three double crochets through the center of that ring. So there's one, two, and there's three. And then we're going to do a chain of two, and we're going to work three more doubles through the center of the ring. Just like that. So that'll end a row one, and you should have a total of six stitches there. And then you'll have your chain two, which serves at the which is serves as the bottom point of the of the shawl. So now we're going to start row two by chaining one and turning our work. Now, no matter what row we're on, we're always going to start by putting three double crochets into this very very first stitch right here. We chained one, we turned three doubles into that very first stitch. So there's one, two, and three. And now we're going to work a double crochet in the next two stitches here. And 
and now we're at our chain two space or our point of our shawl and we're always going to work the same thing in the point no matter what row we're on we're going to go into it the chain space like this just right through it and we're going to work two double crochets so there's one and there's two and then we're going to chain two go back into the same chain two space and work two more double crochets so one and there's two now we're going to work one double into the next two stitches and in the last stitch it will always be the same also no matter what row you're on the last stitch will always get three double crochets so there's one two three and that will end round two or row two and you should have a total of 14 stitches okay so now we're going to go ahead and start row three so we're going to chain one and turn our work oops And again, we're going to start off with three double crochets into our very first stitch. And now we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our chain two space. So one double in every stitch all the way down. And now when we get into the chain two space, we're going to do the same that we always do. We're going to work two doubles. A chain of two. And two more doubles. Just like that. And now we're going to continue by working one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our last stitch of the row last stitch as always three double crochets into the last stitch Just like that and that'll end row three and you should have a total of 22 stitches which would be eight more than the previous round now we're going to start row four and we're going to start our side puffs so we're going to chain one and turn our work so the side puffs are worked on this row three that we just did so we chain one we turn and we're going to start out by working three double crochets into the very first stitch so there's one two and three now we're going to be working side puff or side clusters I'm sorry and they are worked around the post of the stitch so we're going to go around the post of the next stitch so we did our three doubles into the first one and you got to kind of dig around here and you see the post of the next stitch right here we're going to do a side cluster so what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over go around the post of that stitch like that kind of like you're doing a front post double crochet and we're going to yarn over and draw up and we're going to yarn over and go through the first two we want to do that four times so that was number one again yarn over go around the post of the same stitch Drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two. That's two times. Again, yarn over, go into the same stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two. That was three times. One more time, we're going to yarn over around the post of the same stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through the first two loops. And you'll have five loops that remain. 
yarn over and go through all five and chain one. So that's our side puff that we just did. Now what we're going to do is double crochet directly into the next stitch. So I kind of pull the side puff over like this, yarn over and do a double crochet into the next stitch. And that's the repeat until we get to our chain two space. So now we will do a side puff into the around the post of the next stitch. So we're going to yarn over, go around the post of the next stitch like that, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. So we want to do that four times. That was one. Again, yarn over, going around the post of the stitch. So we yarn over, go through the first two, that's two times, again, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, that's three times, yarn over, go around, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, five loops remain, yarn over and go through all five, and chain one. That's our second side cluster. And then we're going to, I kind of pull it to the side and then I do a double crochet directly into the next stitch. Just like that. So you can see your clusters starting to kind of form. The more rows you do, the more you'll notice them. I'm not soft, they'll start to look better. We'll go ahead and do a side uh, cluster again around the post of the next stitch. So we're going to yarn over, go around the post of the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two. So we want to do that four times. That was one, two, three, four, Five loops remain, yarn over and go through all five loops on my hook, chain one, and then double crochet directly into the next stitch. Now I'm going to repeat this process of side puff, chain one, double crochet, side puff, chain one, double crochet until I get to my chain two space. Okay, so I'm on row four here and I did my last side puff. I have one double crochet left before the chain two space so I'm going to go ahead and go into it and double crochet and now I'm going to go into the chain two space and work my two double crochets. Chain two and two double crochets. I'm sorry if I am keep calling it a side puff, side cluster. I don't know why I keep calling it that. <laughs> Anyways, so since we, we look over here and we've seen that our last stitch before the chain two space was a double crochet, that means we need to do the same thing over here. So our first stitch has to be a double crochet. And then we're going to kind of repeat what we did on the other side. Our next stitch will be the side cluster. Like that. And then double crochet directly into the next double crochet side cluster into the next chain one double crochet and directly into the next and we're going to do this until we get up to the last stitch of our row Okay, I've made it to the end of row four, and my stitch before my last stitch was a side cluster. I chained one, 
and sometimes you got to pull it over here to the side here's your last stitch and we want to go ahead and put three double crochets into that last stitch so there's one two three should have eight more stitches than you did on the previous row when you count counting the clusters so we got three four five six seven yep 30 stitches at 22 last time now we have 30 remember we count the side clusters and the double crochets okay now we're going to start row five which is a chain one and a turn now we have to make a double crochet row again so we have a row for the side clusters so we're going to start off by putting three double crochets into the very first stitch there's one there's two and there's three now we need to put as you can see a double crochet there into the next two double crochets And now we're going to put a double crochet into on the top of every side cluster and every double crochet until we get to our chain two space. So if you look here, it's kind of hard to see, uh, but if you go, you can see right here is the top of the side cluster. So I just put a double crochet there and then a double crochet into the next double crochet. And then a double crochet into the next side cluster. So if you kind of pull it apart, you can see it needs to go right over here. Double crochet into the next double crochet. Double crochet into the next side cluster. So I always pull them apart and I see that little spot here. That's the top of the side cluster. Double crochet into this next double crochet. And we repeat this until we get to our chain two space. And that's how it kind of looks. So one double on the top of every side cluster and one double into every double crochet until we get to the uh, our chain two space. I'm almost there, so I'll go ahead and finish it up. Okay, once you make it to your chain two space, we are going to do two doubles, chain two, and two doubles, all into that chain two space. Now we're going to do over here what we just did over here. So we're going to work one double crochet into on top of every double crochet and every side cluster until we get to the last stitch of the row. Remember, if you pull apart, you can see that spot right there is the top of the side cluster. All right, I'm coming to the end here. When you get to your last stitch, as always, the last stitch is three double crochets into the last stitch. And you should have eight more stitches than you did the previous row. So we should have a total of 38 stitches here at the end of row five. Now we're gonna start row six, which is the end of the repeat. Three, four, five, and six are the repeat rows. So we're gonna go ahead and chain one and turn our work. So we're gonna work the side clusters again, but we're gonna try to make them a little bit catty cornered. So as always, we start off with three double crochets into our first stitch. Now, 
when we think back to row three, you can kind of look back to it. We did three we can we did three double crochets and then we did the side cluster to make them catty cornered for row six. We are going to do three double crochets and we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch and then we will do our side cluster into the next. So that's really the only difference. After the three double crochets, uh, when you repeat row uh, four, you do your side cluster right after the three double crochets and then when you're on row six you do your three double crochets then one double crochet and then a side cluster now this is going to make them appear to be catty cornered a little bit i think it depends on the yarn you're using and how noticeable that's going to be chain one and double into the next and we're going to repeat this side cluster chain one double into the next side cluster and if you look closely you can see that I'm going to be working my side cluster in this double around this double crochet here which is in between these two side clusters from my, from our last row so that's correct we want it to be in between that way they're catty cornered from each other and we're going to repeat this until we get to the or chain two space chain one double crochet into the next and then side cluster into the next double crochet into the next and a side cluster into the next chain one double into the next and I'm going to repeat this until I get to my chain two space and if you look they are caddy corners the clusters are in between the ones from before like I said the more rows you do you'll be able to see it better so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this until I get over here to my chain two space all right I'm coming to the chain two space now I just did a double crochet. Now this time the last stitch before the chain two space is going to be a side cluster. Last time it was a double crochet. This time it's a side cluster. Chain one and then you go into the chain two space and you work your two double crochets. Chain two two double crochets and then we're going to repeat on this side what we did over here since we ended in a side cluster we need to start with the side cluster so side cluster around that first stitch chain one double crochet into the top of the next side cluster double crochet into the top of the next chain one after the side cluster I'm sorry then double crochet side cluster into the next chain one double crochet into the next now I'm going to repeat this pattern of side cluster chain one double crochet until I get to the last stitch of my row okay I'm coming here to the end of row six and I just did a side cluster I have two stitches left so I side cluster chain one 
and I'm going to go ahead and double crochet into the next stitch and then add, as always we're going to put three double crochets into the last stitch. You should have eight more stitches than we did the previous row so we should have a total of 46 stitches now. That's every double crochet in every side cluster. So that's it. Now it's just a repeat of rows three, four, five, and six. So row seven would just be the double crochet row. Then row eight, we would repeat um, row four, which is the side cluster row. And then um, row nine, we would repeat row five is a double crochet row so um i'll put the timestamps below in the description box should be the, i'll pin it to the top of the comment section of rows three four five and six so you can click on them and you don't have to rewind to see what they are but okay so this is what it looks like after the more rows you do i showed you in the beginning but I'll show you again here remember you make this as long as you want it or as short as you want it you want it to be a cowl my size you know is you know about 38 to 40 inches is probably fine you want it to be a shawl you might want it you know 60 80 inches it really depends on how big you like your shawls but um this is what it looks like i think it turned out quite nice i ended in just a row of uh, clusters there side clusters I didn't do anything else now if you want to add an edge I think a pico edge would be nice you could add fringe you could just add a regular single crochet edge but I think the it looked it looked fine with just leaving it as it is but that is up to you because it's your shawl and you're wearing it so you can do whatever you would like like for the edging if you want to add something cool some beads or something I don't know anything to doll it up but that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my yarny content. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram or if you make this or anything yarn related. I always like to see it. You can hashtag bag of day crochet or even pictures of yarn. Or if you find new yarn, let me know about it on Instagram. <laughs> I like it. I like to learn about new yarn. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. I hope you guys are able to follow along okay. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and stay safe. Bye-bye, everybody.